uh, it's Imtex day one and we're at the stall of uh, Zeiss. Uh, uh, when it comes to metrology, Zeiss is one of the global major in the uh, world business and we are Mr. We're joined by Mr. Rosa. So Rosa, we'd uh, like to understand from you, what's your opinion on uh, the metrology market and how the market is behaving as of now? The metrology market is developing quite fast yeah, because quality control is really the key in the future. And why is it really, what, is, what are the drivers here? The whole world is in an industrial revolution. Yeah? There's a big transformation started. And when you transform, you have to develop new applications, you have to develop new technologies, you have to expand them. And what is the key quality is also in your process to get the process stable. And there is a lot of transformation processes started where these quality aspects or this quality uh, insurance is not yet developed at the level it should be. That means that drives our challenges now. Uh, so, Mr. Avin, uh, how significant is Indian business as far as Zeiss Group is concerned? Now, India is one of the key markets, you know, for Zeiss, and uh, and as you know, uh, we are one of the fastest growing economies now. We are at the fifth position right now, and all poised, you know, to become the third largest by 2030. So in terms of economy, there is already a big growth that is projected. And when there is an economic growth in a country, there it will attract a lot of investments. And these investments are because of the geopolitical challenges that we are seeing, also because of the, the environment we create for industries in India. Like as you all know, that government is pushing a lot of investments under the product linked incentive scheme. So there is a big push from the government also to invest in India. So there are many companies who are coming to India who are investing and they all they have to be they have to be good enough if they have to compete with the global customers. I mean or rather with the global competitors and also to serve the requirements of the global customers. So they have to uplift their quality standards whatever they have and that is where we see a huge market that is developing in front of us. So, uh, when it comes to again metrology, metrology uh, caters to almost every industry and it's critical component of uh, every manufacturing uh, segment. Uh, where do you see uh, uh, the global business of Zeiss being driven by which other industry core sectors? Yeah, there's, <clears throat> there is a, in several areas we have this, we see these big transformations. One is, for example, the so called NEV, new electrical vehicle. That means we need to go, because also of environmental reasons, we need to go away from the combustion engine to the electrical engine is one thing. Then we have the number of electronic components is increasing very much. That means electronics is scaling up at a, to, to a dimension which we haven't seen before. The next thing is power and energy. Somehow you have to produce the electrical energy. Do we have enough solutions? Like fossil, fossil energy plants will not be the solution. You see all the environmental problems and this will develop as a, the, the pressure we get from the environment, yeah, the demand, and especially for the high developed countries, we need to be the driver in this transformation. We need to make sure that these technologies will be made available in the future for the whole world. Then also medical, you know, we have the medical demand is, is huge. Yeah? We have overarching populations like in Germany and in Europe, very, very strong. We have it the same in, in China, yeah, in Japan, very strong. That means here the investments are huge and the need is also huge. Yeah? And when you look all together, these are big transformations which are started. But the time with, where these, these, these changes will happen is much faster than the older industrial transformations. Uh, Mr. Avin, as uh, uh, Mr. Roger was saying that no, electric vehicle, that's the e-mobility, uh, then energy, uh, then electronics, as well as the medical. Uh, these are the core sectors that are going to drive your business. Is, is it the same thing going to happen even in Indian market? Yeah, yeah, exactly the same segments where we are seeing the investments flowing into India, companies now coming forward uh, to put up their new plants, their new facilities. So these are exactly the same segments what we are also targeting in India. And for all these segments today, we are confident to say that we have solutions. Coming to India, India is again a market, a huge market for automotive. As you know, 
uh, when it comes to two wheelers or when it comes to cars uh, the penetration of these into the population is still not happened so india is still a huge market for vehicle consumption still so the automotive demand is will be there will continue to be there and apart from automotive then you have all these sunshine sectors which are going to explode in the next 2 to 3 years where we see a huge opportunity right how do you represent global business so uh, what's your expectations from indian market uh, my expectations from the india market is that it gets also let me say a very important pillar in the supply chain for the for the global world and i see this happening there's a lot of foreign investments going in here a lot of partnerships are going in here yeah we need to raise the quality standards yeah but in combination with all of this we should not forget the environment we need to work also on environmental solutions that means we need also that that india itself is as a very quite fast transformation into better technologies like ev like the the wind energy yeah? and and also medical yeah you need it also for your for the support of the population what kind of year on year on year growth you foresee what kind of uh, expectations yeah, I, i would say i see in the future a even more dynamic growth and uh, when you compare it for example to the development in the last 10 15 years in china they had you have now a raga growth of around 7% i think it will go up to a few years for double double digit values but hopefully not too long because i shall tell you over a long time that it can even kill you yeah, and this is very dynamic <laughs> so you would to say something no uh, apart from whatever uh, roger mentioned uh, the other big change that will happen in india is uh, our manufacturing footprint today we have a certain machines which are made in india so as we go along this transformation what roger mentioned will also add many more localized products that will be made in india because that is the only way you know we can serve this market and also the global market from here so we will have more and more of machines that will come to india which will be making here and the investments are already in place so do you see value in making in india because yeah certainly it it adds a lot of value to our customers you know in terms of supply chain uh, in terms of uh, cost being competitive uh, in terms of uh, serviceability of these machines quick turn around times availability of spares you know all these are big advantages when it comes to when we make this product in india and that is the uh, road map what we have drawn for ourselves in the next 3 to 5 years to add more and more products to our existing manufacturing right and what's your take on the kind of uh, target what uh, roger was saying is, is it too ambitious for you no 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 i think looking at the environment all around us looking at the positive buzz the industry is going through yes it is challenging but we have said roger we will do it That's yeah really <laughs> and uh, i'm confident that we can somehow manage it yeah we will find the right solutions and we are already manufacturing and this will continue yeah so thank you so much roger and avin uh, we wish you achieve your targets and wish you all the best at intex thank, thank, thank you so, so much, much sir for more updates please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon